Well, guys, last video, I said that this would be coming soon, and uh, here it is. The ranking of the Planet of the Eight films. My apologies if you hear pitter-pattering, it is raining. But, um, you know, we only got four movies. The original trilogy, very great. Kingdom, very great. There's going to be nine total, so I mean, I might make one of these in the future. However many years in the future that will be. This is kind of like a little time capsule, if you will. But, um... You know, let's just start off with my favorite, my personal favorite. Hopefully my list doesn't give anybody an aneurysm, but uh, let's just wait and see. Numero uno for me is Rise. Um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, I think is the best one so far that we have received. And it is kind of tough putting all of these movies in a, you know, ranking just because they are pretty bleak. Um, I love them, but they are bleak in, in a sense where... I don't necessarily want to watch them all that often because of how depressing the subject matter is. You know, just seeing animals being abused and stuff, it, it's probably like one of the toughest things to see in film. And I guess that doesn't really make sense putting Rise first as it probably has it the worst. But the characters in this movie, James Franco's character, the origin of it all. If Some of you may know that I love origin stories and just... The way that everything links together, I think is very well done. Caesar, the window, all these little things connecting within one another. And then it just makes the, the rest of the story better. Uh, I, I love it. I think it's very well done. And I put it in the very great tier on my main tier list and first on the ape rankings. Also, just accounting for the legendary no line and, you know, Koba, you're, you're also seeing hands like first original scenes and how you know what the humans were probably doing to him with the scars and everything and why that plays an effect in dawn and the human characters will's dad also probably i think are the best human characters in the entire series next to dawn dawn also probably had the the second best human characters but i i just personally think this is a very well crafted origin story for sure number one now as for my number two it is very close but i'm gonna give it to kingdom um i literally just reviewed it so if you want to know some more of my thoughts on that you could just watch that i'm not gonna really just repeat myself i yap enough as it is but uh, i'm a big fan of the origin story for this one as well i just love the atmosphere characters action of this entire film i think it's really well done and i also think it sets up the trilogy very nicely number three i got dawn i got dawn for sure from what i've seen scavenging around the planet this is a lot of people's number one and i can definitely understand why a lot of people are fanatic about koba i love koba definitely the best villain of the franchise of the entirety of the ape world so far but you know, I, I just found his moves, his, you know, decision making very predictable. I guess maybe it would have hit harder if I watched it back in the day in theaters, you know, when it first dropped. Now I knew Caesar was coming back. I knew the trilogy was complete. So I guess it didn't hit that hard in that regard. Just seeing the damage Koba causes, though, and just how that now sets up after watching Kingdom, you just see like the amount of damage that he has caused alone and by his actions. And I think that is what makes this movie so good. 100%, you know, a solid stepping stone. And finally, the worst of the franchise in my opinion has to be war probably the most bleak of planet of the apes i think without bad ape there wouldn't be any replay value at all I, the comedy he brings really lightens up the mood for the, the dark dark subject matter of this film and i'm gonna be honest i like it when movies take that dark route you know because a lot of times nowadays they don't go that direction but this one it just very depressing they're in cages half the time and then the fights are very underwhelming i didn't really like the way caesar died either i thought that was a super underwhelming way to kill off such a legendary character and i don't know i just think that this is the weakest film of them all not a horrible film not even a bad film just the weakest out of the other three and uh yeah that's my official ranking if you guys have any disagreements that you want to you know spew in the comments feel free but until then.